was excellent. And the speed with which he got crosses in early. Yeah. You yeah. know it is now for Sheffield United. Basham with over 300. And Ampadu, who uh, played in a cup match against Newcastle United as a Chelsea footballer, the blade with Ampadu. Ampadu is uh, quickly closed down and towards the Bramall Lane end here. Back it comes to Ampadu, now Lundstrom. Lundstrom to Ampadu once again, the triangle. Down the line it goes to uh, McGoldrick, left by Burke into Lundstrom. Beautiful football, and the shot from McGoldrick. Is... The keeper's pushed it out to, to somebody, hopefully coming in and just getting a nice free shot. But uh, I thought that Steve Bruce is under more pressure than Chris Wilder right now. Yeah. And Sheffield United in the red and white striped shirts, pushed from right to left as we look. No goals in this one, 15 and a half minutes of the game play. Now Ampadu. Tossing it forward, the runner Lundstrom is there, inside left channel of the box, he's beaten Cher to it, but Cher just waited his chance, so goes to the left-hand side where Sheffield United have had a bit of joy already. Here's Osborne, back now to Norwood, still waiting the first one. Newcastle United are on their longest, winless run under Steve Bruce, as it comes now to Fleck, back it comes to Osborne, teased over the top right foot of it will be Burke. Scampers after him, Newcastle go long here. They've uh, not found goal, goal kick from underneath the uh, Bramall Lane end. He will loop it upfield. Wilson, a jumping Wilson's beaten the air by Ampadu the other day. And it's the 18 yard box, in it goes, looking for Wilson. A cushioned header in search of the former Bournemouth man. But then Newcastle again, not for the first time, have given it a small thing, isn't it? And he's maybe not with what he's been offered and it's most really as simple as that and until he gets uh, you know another offer then then he won't be happy on the south bank of the time the blades go cross field to Ampadu, just in front of Steve Bruce in now to Fleck a little pocket of space to work with here a scuttle to the edge of the penalty area out wide it goes to Osborne chance for Ampadu to cross in it goes McCaldrick back stick and the header is wide as he clatters into Dala yeah uh, it's a half chance, isn't it? And uh, hits the target. That's one nil. It was a great ball in, I have to say. There was. Uh, uh, we'll feel the same. An opportunity for a rare victory. First time ball from Egan to Ampadu. Ampadu looks up. Sheffield United try and get it forward from the halfway line. Out to Bogle on the far side. He's got dummy for company. Bogle skinned him. Gets to the byline. Then the block challenge came to Fleck. Out to the corner of the penalty area it goes. Can the Blades capitalise on this? Fleck out to Osborne. Three away at the cross. A disguised ball to Ampadu. Teed up chance for Burke. That's like an inconference. Well, I, I would say not. I, I think we make one or two silly little mistakes like we've just done there. Where, where we Sheffield yeah. United. Yeah, that's true. Fleck controlling just deflects the ball neatly into Ampadu and yeah. twisting over the ball the score for Sheffield United Ben Osborne to DeAndre Yedlin and the American has space to get it to Wilson but good covering by Ampadu and Ampadu is screaming they, they, they've got an outlet haven't they yeah <laughs> and brilliant it, one it, it, it comes from Stocksbridge I think he does <laughs> So uh, that, that's, that's a fantastic signing, and uh, I, I'm going to be honest, at, at first I, w I wasn't quite sure, you know, my first reaction when I tossed just to the edge of it, the glancing header from Hayden, then the gold mask scramble, plenty of red and white shirts in the way, and Ampadu, who clears it away, ends up thrown out of the field of play and flat on his back. Yep, hopefully it'll not be too bad. Ah, he's got a sharp wrist, but once again, they've won a loose header there, so that's, a, that's always a worry, and we... we Highlighted that just earlier about and mentioned the Bristol Bulls were disappointed. Well, Chris Wilder walks out to the uh, edge of the technical area in his uh, black blades uh, training coat, having uh, a conversation with Osborne. So another opportunity to uh, get those uh, messages. Well, they got into a really good uh, solid position and, and made a great challenge there. It was a great run from. Burke. Now uh, lunch uh, Fleck into the penalty area to McGoldrick chance back stick. Oh dominated this game without having to work the goalkeeper too hard I'd like to see that a little bit more often but uh, I think that was a good performance what I like more than anything was the fact that we got such a good number of people in the box and that that's that's not a sign of uh, a team that lacks confidence so hopefully a second half the same and, and can we just finish it off well, uh, Egan a former Sunderland defender will play it out to Lundstrom and now Basham 
Robertson of the North East and Lundstrom sweeps it in field. Uh, Lundstrom was part of an Oxford United side who thumped Newcastle United 3 0 in the FA Cup fourth round in 2017. Something like that would be uh, warmly welcomed for Sheffield United and their supporters as it goes out to Osborne. Osborne wriggles. They do score against uh, Newcastle today. That will be their 100th home league goal against the Magpies. Goals have been very well in end here as um, changes are being rung by uh, Sheffield United. Chris Wilder in at the ear of Rianne Brewster as that free kick was poorly executed by Callum Wilson and into the centre circle via Egan. It's picked up by Ampadu and Fleck takes control of the yeah, ball. Get that first goal for Sheffield United because that will be a big goal. Yeah, the youngster will be uh, desperate to join the likes of Burke and Bogle in uh, getting their uh, first goals for the... 15 yards outside the, the box. I don't think we should have to go back yet again, but we've got back in that same position now. Here's McGoldrick trying to just wriggle his way past Dummett. Dummett will turn it back to Lundstrom. Lundstrom now to Norwood. Like a lot of people as well. And it's goalless at the moment. Is there to be that priceless moment for Sheffield United and their supporters? As Ampadu gets involved in the left back area on the far side. It's going in, let's, let's say that. It was on target. It does uh, say something when you're looking at shots on target and trying to try and chibi some kind of positive yeah. out about that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's true. But, uh, you know, I, I just think. I think we now extra man. Just, just get it in the box when you can. Don't, don't get in a, in such a good position. Let's let me see somebody to, who dribble past somebody because that'll open it. As Newcastle build from the halfway line, Wilson, who's seen precious little of the football, but had a is uh, doing some warm ups down pitch side as well. Where he was and he, he leaps and, and there's nobody behind him and, and I, I immediately options to aim at now with uh, Brewster on the uh, field of play as well. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Let's see that lad do something. Just he, he's when we talk about yeah, in one of the supporter comments that followed after it uh, was from a Newcastle fan who said, "Look, don't worry. In Derby County's 11-point season, they took four points yeah. as well. Although perhaps in the circumstances, Steve Bruce a little bit. While ever it's nil-nil, there's every chance they can just hit you on the break. We're, we're obviously encouraged to go forward. We've got plenty of forwards on. So uh, here we go." In goes the cross into the penalty area. I really do want to see us hit them a little bit quicker on the break. You know, full pelt, go straight at them. Here's Fleck, working the ball away from Longstaff. Everybody in fluorescent yellow behind the ball. Still at field from right to left, from underneath the cop end here at Bramall Lane, and it's scoreless between Sheffield United and Newcastle United, and a high punt to the edge of the box, and Sharps after it to go down in a heat. Who sweeps it back to Ampadu, Longstaff shoots out after Ampadu, but the ball has just worked to Osborne on the left, John Street side of the ground, lovely turn. Back to Ampadu. Ampadu looks up, knows that Egan is in a better position, to start to lead another attack, but then gets it back, and Ampadu will bring in Fleck, Fleck evades, Clark up to Longstaff, up to Wilson, and then a volley clearance goes up from Ben Osborne on the right-hand side, in it goes from Murphy, Wilson lurking with the outstretched leg of Ampadu, and the ball is clear to the stand on the far side. 